Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here. Today I'm going to be showing you a how-to video on how to install Linux Mint onto a bootable USB so that you can boot that onto any computer that you want. So please stay tuned for the video and let's get at this. After you subscribe and like the video, of course, that would help me out a lot. And let's get at this right after this message. And we are back here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a bootable Linux Mint USB drive. I'm going to be using third party software and a copy of Linux Mint here. And I'm going to be linking everything into the description below just like normal. So to start, you're going to want to go down to Chrome or a web browser here. Um, any web browser will work, um, but you're going to want to download a copy of Linux Mint. And that you're going to want to go to linuxmint.com slash download.php. And I'll be linking everything in, into the description, of course. And you're going to want to go down here. And the current version right now is Cinnamon. But there is you can use any of these versions that you want. I'm going to I'm going to be using cinnamon. You're going to want to click on that and then you have a bunch of options for mirror images where you can download. You can select your location and a mirror for that location. I am in the US and I happen to be I I go to Clarkson University it just so happened to be that way. I didn't plan this. But um so you're going to want to easiest way is to right click on that and open it in a new tab just so that it opens correctly and then you can just go ahead and put that in your downloads folder and we can get that started downloading it is 1.8 gigabytes so it might take you a minute i know some mirror images they have bottlenecks on the download speed i know my internet is a lot faster than that so i mean it just happens like the mirror images they have bottlenecks on the download speed that you can download them at so we'll get that started downloading um and i will tell i'll show you what um software i'm going to be using to um install the os image onto the flash drive and in this case i know i've used rufus before but you can use rufus if you want to it doesn't it does not matter but in this case i'm going to be using Belina etcher it is a very very nice software to use for installing OS images. Um, we're just gonna go down through a couple of the, a few of the like um, highlighted like stuff that it can do. Um, does validated flashing, so you don't have to write images that are corrupted or anything. You don't gotta worry about that. It's got a nice interface. Uh, you can also flash SD cards. Um, hard drive friendly, you can copy an OS onto a, an actual hard drive if you want to use that, like if you're copying Windows onto a hard drive and you want to use that in your new computer or something, you can do that. Or in, in my case here, I'm going to be using a USB that is going to work as well. It'll work with open source softwares as well. Cross platform, it'll work with Mac, Windows, and any Lin Linux system, excuse me. Um, and it, uh, you can write multiple drives at, at a time. It looks like so it's simultaneous writing for multiple drives, 50% faster, faster flashes, which is very nice. There is all your options right here. You got windows, um, the actual installer for your operating system. And then you got a portable option right here where you can boot this onto a, USB and then you can install OS images right onto a like a broken down computer or something and you want to refresh that system. You have Mac OS right here and then your Linux systems. Um, in my case I'm going to be using Windows. So I'll download that here and I'll just put this in my downloads folder and it looks like our Linux Mint is downloaded and we'll just wait a second for the Etcher to download. And I'll go back up here. You, all you have to do is select your image, select drive, and then flash. It's very simple. 
and then once this is installed here or downloaded then you can click on it and install it you just click run on the your on your firewall and then click i agree and then it will install onto your system i do have an m.2 drive so it does install very quickly and then you can once you have this window here you can minimize your um, browser and then i like my apps nice and neat there so i'll move that up and then you can select the file um you can also do it you can flash from a url and you can also clone drives it looks like but in this case i'm going to be flashing from a file so all you have to do is click on this here and then go into your downloads folder and select your linux mint right here just click on it once and then press open so that is in there and it's good to go and then you're going to click out here on your target for this one i'm going to be using my 16 gig portable store and go usb so i'm going to go and click on that it does look like you can also select multiple drives that you can install this onto which is very nice but in my case here i'm going to be selecting my store and go usb 16 gigs and then just press select here and you can see that it is in there nice and then all you have to do is press flash and then when it, then you have to press yes on your windows command processor and then it will start um you can also so browse different projects here it looks like you can check out some projects while you're waiting for it to flash looks like it's flashing pretty decent speed here estimated in a minute and 45 seconds about so we can browse a few projects here of what they're doing and we'll close down the download tab here um looks like there's a raspberry pi dashboard that they have raspberry pi 4 pi 3 i might actually download that for my raspberry pi i have a raspberry pi on my 3d printer and that i use for wireless communication on for my 3d printer it works fabulously and i have octoprint on that right here yep they have octoprint right here remotely control your 3d printer with octoprint octodash and Bellina. that's pretty cool looks like they have a minecraft server builder as well for re for a raspberry pi 4 that is pretty cool data cams as well um sound streamers um yeah that's pretty cool um raspberry power pi powered by Bellina and edge impulse so if you have like um image um processing and stuff that you want to do looks like the minecraft server works on raspberry pi 4 you can see what it works with right here we got a bunch of raspberry pi options which is nice so it looks like Bellina is almost done here it's at 94 percent we'll minimize out of this here and we'll wait just a second for it to validate looks like it's only going to take a minute And Linux Mint is a very nice operating system if you're looking for a simplistic design as well as a functional design. So Windows also has a lot of like bloatware and everything that you can't do like too many administration options on commands and stuff. So Linux gives you that possibility to run different types of software on an administration level and you can also run different coding as well on that system which is why it is widely popular about the coding in the industry and software engineers as well they use this linux uh, systems a lot for that functionality of it and i am a computer engineer a computer engineering major um so I work with tech a lot and stuff, and 
I like the Linux system. I have multiple laptops and stuff. I have different operating, operating systems run on my personal computer is what I'm using right now. And I have like dual, I have multiple drives in that, in this computer and I boot to whatever operating system that I want to. Um, looks like the flash is complete here. We have Linux Mint 20 cinnamon 64 bit ISO was successfully flashed. And then if you want to flash another, you just click that, but we had one successful target and an effective speed of 17.2 megabits per second, megabytes per second, sorry. Um, this is just some cheap flash drive that I stole from Clarkson because someone stole my USB, so I stole theirs. But anyways, it's just USB 2.0, so if you had a USB 3 or 3.1, then it would go much faster. So then all you have to do is X out of that, and then just to uh, verify here, we can... It does not look like it shows up anymore, but we can verify that it did show up by opening up our mini tool here. And coming in here, we look like have that disk right there, and it's going to show up as a bad disk in Windows because Windows doesn't recognize it as an actual file. But it is right there. And all you have to do to boot into the Linux system, and then it's just a simple setup, simple process to start it up, um, is to restart your computer. Make sure this flash drive is plugged into that computer and then spam your delete key and that will bring you into the BIOS settings and then um, filter yourself over to boot options and you can look and look up many things online of how to get to that exactly but all you have to do is spam your delete key and boot into your boot options and then go into filter yourself to the boot options and select your USB and then press enter on that and then you, your system will boot into the flash drive and then you can go through the Linux setup process and it is very simple and easy to do and then you'll be good to go from there and then you have yourself your very own Linux Mint system and then you can enjoy all the possibilities of it. So I hope this video helped people on how to install Linux Mint onto a onto a computer and how to build the USB drive to do that. I hope this helped a lot. Um, please let me know in the comments on if this actually did help you and if it didn't and what I can do to change some stuff on how I make my videos. Some feedback will be very helpful. And I hope you all subscribe and this is all I have for this video. Hope you all subscribe to the channel if you want to and please like the video at the end of course and i hope this video helped and i hope you all have a great day and peace out